all three generations of the man's Cuban immigrant family. Calsby's Brian Garnett has the story. It was because he tried to save his home that firefighters ended up struggling to save the life of Armando Rodriguez. His family says they woke to the smell of smoke in their Flatbush Avenue home this morning, finding a fire in the basement. He then tried to extinguish it himself, and quickly even the neighbors couldn't help. I was woken up to the noise and screaming. And I, I ran out to the back to, tr to try it. I tried to see if I can do it being held, but I couldn't, I couldn't go into the door. It was too much fire, too much flames. The first arriving fire units immediately called in a second alarm when they found two residents of the house up on the roof trying to escape the flames. Those rescued from the roof then told firefighters that their grandfather was still down in the basement where a space heater had been used. And it was smoke and flames in the, on the heater. So her, her brother, Le Yeah, Her brother-in-law tried to turn off the fire. It was uh, pretty close to the sofa. Rodriguez, who's 74, found severely burned in full cardiac arrest, rescued from the basement apartment by fearless firefighters, themselves burned as they braved the flames. Did you see where you were going, Rob? Uh, not at first, no. What were you doing? Feeling your Yes, way? yes. So, so how did you make your way through the basement? Uh, crawling around, getting as low as we can to... As I said, once they started making ventilation through the, uh, the basement windows, it cleared some of the smoke and enabled us to, uh, to see where the gentleman was. That's the kind of heat you generate here. This is the kind of work that the, these guys have to do to make a rescue like this. What's left of a VCR in the basement where firefighters had braved temperatures of more than 1,000 degrees, finding Rodriguez near the fire extinguisher he tried to use. In all seven residents of the home and one firefighter treated for smoke inhalation and burns, Rodriguez lost his home. But still tonight, he has his life. Brian Garnett, Channel 3, Eyewitness News, Hartford. Great work, huh? Well, once revived, the victim, Armando Rodriguez, was taken to the special burn unit at the Bay State Medical Center in Massachusetts, where tonight he remains in critical condition.